Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the reasons why Fortnite may be crashing on your PC. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so one of the first reasons that Fortnite or the Epic Launcher may be crashing on your PC is because of your lighting service. If you're using Asus Aurora or MSI Mystic Sync, it's quite possible that the system thinks that your lighting service or your program is actually some kind of cheat system. So what you need to do is do Alt Control Delete, go into Task Manager, and when Task Manager comes up, you want to go through and find your processes and then go down to Lighting Service, that one there, and then just click End Task. Then you can close Task Manager, go back in, and you should find that if you click on Fortnite or open your launcher, everything should be absolutely fine. So the next thing to do, if you're still having problems and you're getting the error that the application could not open, that kind of thing, so go to your C drive or open a folder, go into your local C drive, into program files, then into Epic Games, into Fortnite, the Fortnite game, and then go into binaries, then Win64, and BattleEye, go into that folder, and first thing to do is do uninstall BattleEye.bat, double click on that, and you'll get the information, do you want to uninstall the BattleEye service from your system? Click on yes. And you should get the message saying that the BattleEye service has been uninstalled. So click OK. Then you can go up and click on install BattleEye.bat, which will reinstall the service. So then you can close that down and hopefully you can open up Fortnite and everything should be great. If for any reason that still doesn't do it, then you can go back into C Drive, so Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then go into Easy Anti-Cheat, and go into Easy Anti-Cheat Setup.exe. And in this section, you can choose to either uninstall, then you can reinstall it again after using the setup.exe or you can just click on repair service this is generally the easiest way so click on repair service it will uninstall reinstall and reinstall the service i would suggest after you've done this a quick uh, click on the start button do restart go back in and everything should be great so if that doesn't work then another option you've got is go back up a level win64 and you've got four executable files here, the shipping exe, shipping be, shipping eac, and the Fortnite launcher. So what you can do in each one of these, if you right click, choose properties, go to compatibility, and if you put a tick in disable full screen optimizations, and also run this program as administrator, click on the apply icon, then hit OK, and then go ahead and do exactly the same for the other four executables. So again, go into the compatibility and run as administrator, disable full screen optimizations, and go through and do this for the rest of them that are on there. So once you've done all that, you should find that everything is okay. A quick restart, so thanks to the start menu, click on there, click on restart, and then you should find, you click on Fortnite, and it should open as it's intended to. So there we go, there's some options on how to get your Fortnite installation up and running again. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, then give the video a like and don't forget to click on the subscribe button, all that kind of stuff. And if you've got any other comments, questions, or any fixes for the uh, Unreal Engine 4 or for Fortnite itself, please let us know in the comments down below and we'll try and share them as much as we possibly can. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.